the final trial of Vulcan. Locked in a stalemate for days, Vulcan and the stranger were neck and neck. To break the tie, the elders decided that each contestant would have 24 hours to forge a weapon and slay a fire drake, with he who returned with the biggest drake being declared the victor. Vulcan crafted a massive warhammer and the stranger a razor-sharp sword, the pair setting off to Mount Deathfire, a colossal volcano known for housing the greatest fire drakes. Using his innate knowledge of Nocturne, Vulcan found his prize first and crushed the head of an immense salamander. Carrying his prize back, the volcano erupted, launching Vulcan off a cliff, grasping to dear life with one hand and holding the fire drake with the other. Holding on for hours, the Primarch eventually caught the eye of the stranger walking by with an even bigger salamander over his shoulder. Without hesitation, the stranger threw the fire-resistant creature into the lava beneath Vulcan to save his life. And upon returning, Vulcan was declared the winner for being the only one to still have his prize. Getting down on one knee, Vulcan refused the victory and pledged his service to the stranger, stating that any man that valued life over pride was worthy of his service. And in that moment, the stranger revealed his true golden form as Vulcan's father, the Emperor of Mankind.